Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are finishing up our two packs, two builds, one lot challenge. And if you missed part one, I will go ahead and have it linked in the cards so that you can check it out. It goes a little bit more into depth about what the challenge is, but I'll just kind of briefly explain it to you. This challenge was created by Simmer Down Misha and I will link her, her channel as well as her Twitter down below so that you guys can check out the rules for the challenge. You can also check them out on my previous video because they are linked there as well. But what we have here is we have one lot. We've got two builds. Each build is only allowed to have one pack. So you're going to either select your own packs for each build or you're going to use a random pack generator to select the two packs for each build. So this particular build actually happens to consist of Beast Game and Island Living only. Now I just uploaded this build to the lot. I didn't upload it before because I wanted to have both of the um, homes completed before I uploaded the original house and for some reason it's flagging for get to work and I think it's because I had used the fence to divide the lot but I've since removed it I did replace it with a base game um that kind of hedge there so it doesn't have get to work on it it's it's loaded on the gallery it says that it does it does not so when I was doing this build, I was trying a couple of different things that I have not tried before as far as like the elevated decks or on platforms. And so I wanted to test this. This house and the house in part one have both been completely play tested. So everything does work. Um, but I did like this little platform here. It is a sunning deck. So it's got the lounge chairs. And I do end up taking out that trellis there and just kind of leaving it open. I did place a umbrella as you'll see, but this house itself consists of three bedrooms and three bathrooms. It is three levels. So when you walk into the house, when you go up the stairs from the front, it takes you to the middle level, which is like the kitchen, the living room, and the dining room. There's also a patio at the back that takes you to the pool. And then if you go down the stairs, it'll take you to the um, lower floor. It's not a basement, it's just a lower floor, which is accessible from the deck down below as well as through the stairs in the house. But if you go down the stairs, it'll take you to um, two bedrooms. I did design them for kids. So when I did the furnishing, I had a girl and a boy in mind. Doesn't matter what age, children, child, teenagers. Um, but they are furnished um, yellow and blue, which you'll see here momentarily and then um there's also kind of like a desk area and then there is a full bathroom um if you go up the stairs up through the middle level and then up at the top is the master bedroom and it also has a um full bathroom there's also a full bathroom on the middle floor with the kitchen and everything now i had a lot of issues when I was building the roof, I cut a lot of it out because it kept clipping into the house at the front. So you'll notice I put a couple of things there because I wanted to hide that clipping, but it happens to do with the trimming of the roof pieces. So I did everything I could to try and figure it out to prevent it from clipping with the exception of changing the roof trim, which I didn't want to do. I wanted to keep it completely cohesive and I wanted everything to match. So we're working on the front here and um, I do end up changing it as you will see. I actually ended up having to move the lot back because I wanted to have the stairs kind of run through the front up to the top as opposed to having them enter into the main house on the bottom level. So you'll see me kind of change some of that around, but the front roof for some reason, um, yeah, it was giving me some issues. And so I ended up figuring it out. Um, but again, 
I did cover up some of the clipping from the roof pieces. You'll actually see it a little bit in the living room towards the back from that kind of lounge area back there, that little sitting area. Um, when, if you're kind of in the living room, but you, you can't really notice it unless you're like really paying attention. So, um, the other thing that I noticed is when I replaced the stairs and I don't know if it has anything to do with that bottom piece that I deleted or what, but for some reason, the floor is not visible at certain angles. So it'll look like the floor disappears and I've play tested it over and over and over again even with the floor not there the sim she was still able to walk up and down the stairs it is there i don't know why it's glitching out whenever i go to add the floor piece it just like completely disappears it's the weirdest thing that's never happened to me before so i don't know if it's a glitch or if it's something that happened when i was in the middle of trying to change the way that the front uh, looked when i moved it back and added the stairs in the front i'm not sure what happened but everything completely works like I said it is um, play tested um, I tried everything out she can get to the pool she can get to the little floaties at the back of the um, and in the water and um, she can get up on the deck and suntan she can get into all the rooms so she can get into the dining room so I did play test everything so I want to make sure everything does work and there isn't any issues so this house does come in at um I want to say it's anywhere between 126. Uh, it's either between 100 and 126. I have one value when I go into build mode, but then there's a completely different value because it's factoring in both houses. Um, but even so, when I'm in build mode, it says it's $204,000. When I uploaded it onto the gallery, it says that it is a 200 and I want to say um 35 225 something like that simoleons so i want to say it's anywhere between 126 um thousand simoleons for just this one house here on the side just because i don't know why there is a discrepancy between the two values um i didn't change anything between the build mode and uploading it so i'm not like i said i'm not really sure why it's like that but it does have um, three bedrooms, as I mentioned, and it is on one half of a 40 by 30 lot. This is in on the key point lot um, there in Sulani. So I think that's the lot that has the volcano. I'm not really sure. Again, I haven't really played in Sulani. I built a house there. I started a sim, but I never finished it because it just... Um, I didn't find it very much fun. Um, and I don't know if it's because I don't really play with occult sims. It's not really my thing. I did try the vampire pack and I did do the vampire um, aspiration. And um, I wanna say I finished that one. And that was, that was pretty fun, but it's just kind of not my thing. So I'm not really, too positive with the layout of the island but in any case there is a pool here and then as I said in the back you've got kind of like um, a seating area um, it's got a couple of wicker couches or love seats and it's got a music player and some lights and candles and then if you go up the little stairs in the back you'll go to the sunning deck so I really liked that this is the back patio off of the living room so like I said it is completely accessible and um, everything works I ended up not having room for the fire pit or that little cooking pit that they have I really wanted to put that on there but this half of the lot is mainly water so I had a lot of issues with placing like the ladders and stuff because of the elevation of the terrain so you'll notice that um i'm kind of fiddling with stuff a little bit just to just to get it to work i ended up moving the stairs over and all of that just so that i can place everything because it is mostly water so there's not a lot of um areas for you know like sand castle building um and stuff like that but there's still quite a few things to do on the lot itself so 
Um, the upstairs bedroom is really, really big. I like how spacious it is. Um, I love all of the colors that came together when I have used this pack in the past. I have only really used probably the bed and a couple of the couches. I haven't really played with the roofing textures or even the the painting textures and i actually really like them i like all of the bright colors and everything like that so um i'm definitely gonna incorporate these um items into more of my builds even if i don't happen to build on solani so we are in the house now and the way that the floor plan is i actually end up changing it completely i originally was going to put um, downstairs be the kitchen everything but then I was like well they're gonna go up the stairs to enter the house so I want the kitchen living room to be on the middle floor so I do end up completely changing the floor plan um, I cut quite a bit of that out just so you guys didn't have to see it um, but as I mentioned there's two bedrooms downstairs and a full bathroom and then you've got the middle floor with the kitchen a full bathroom and a dining room living room access to the pool and then you've got the upper floor which is the master bedroom and a full bathroom the master bedroom itself also has kind of a seating area and a bookshelf um, it's just really nice and airy i didn't put long curtains in the house just because i wanted to keep the, um, I guess kind of the, the thought that it's, you know, very airy and breezy and, you know, you've got the nice, um, cool air coming in from the ocean or the island. So I wanted to kind of keep that vibe going. So I only put curtains on inside the bedrooms. They're not anywhere else. They're not in the bathrooms. They're not in the living room. Nothing like that. And I use those slated, um, the slatted doors and also the slatted windows and the open windows because I just wanted a very open, airy concept. Kind of like the first build that I did with Jungle Adventure. A lot of the windows are completely open. There's a lot of access points that are completely open. Just kind of... Um, arches as opposed to doors um just because i really like that style i really like that feeling so the landscaping came together very quickly i'm actually have really been enjoying landscaping lately it used to be one of those things where i dreaded because i just didn't think that i was very good at it um but the more i've been doing it and the more i've been using other things outside of what i'm used to using or used to seeing people use i've actually been really enjoying it so this is the outside kind of lounge seating area. Um, I did not put a barbecue grill here, um, and I should have. Now that I think about it, I should have put a barbecue grill on the deck, but I didn't. I did put one of those cobble bowls in the kitchen, but because we didn't have a pit, I should have put a barbecue grill, but you can definitely add that. Um, I bet in this room here, it's just kind of a seating area. And there is also a stereo, so music. And then, um, like I said, you've got that little um, on-ramp or entrance there to the sunning deck with a couple of lounge chairs and a table. I wanted to put something on the side of the pool, but I just really couldn't find anything. I was like, oh, maybe I'll cover it with pictures or maybe I can cover it with those um, room dividers, but I just didn't like the way that it looked in the end when I was done with it. So I just left it the way that it is. It's completely blank. A lot of the spacing around the deck is completely open so that there's just a lot of moving room and stuff like that. You can definitely add a lot of things to the area. Like um, some of the outdoor hobby stuff, if you wanna put planters around, you definitely can. If you wanna put a chess table out there, you definitely can. I did not include a chess table. I didn't include the easel or anything like that because um it's an island living pack i really kind of envisioned them building their skills off of the island so the you know treasure hunting and the deep diving um and just helping to kind of sustain the island living by keeping it nice and clean so this particular build i didn't include any of that stuff um there's no computer and there is a tv so um, you do have that and there's also i want to say 
there's a stereo in one of the other areas, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think that there is. Um, Cause I went back and added stereos. No, I didn't. We just had the one. I think I put it in there and then I ended up taking it out. So scratch that, Never mind. Um, but yeah, I think other than that, um, the build went pretty well. Um, I wish that there were more wall items to use just because I felt like I kept running out of things to use. I didn't want to use like traditional paintings or, you know, traditional um, wall decor on this build. I really wanted kind of like some island vibes. And so I ended up having to use a lot of the things over and over again, which is fine. I mean, I didn't mind it. It's just, I felt like I was a little bit more limited as opposed to the jungle adventure. Um, because I felt like Jungle Adventure had a lot more things to offer as far as being able to decorate the house with all types of, um, you know, shrubbery and, and all of that stuff. It didn't necessarily just have to use wall hangings or anything. But with this pack, I felt like it was pretty limited. I used a couple of the things from Debug Item, but not very much. Um, I think I used like a conscious shell as... Um, as a decor i don't even know if i pronounced that right but it's a shell that's in the debug item um and then i also used a couple of fish on the um the little mounted plank there so i believe the fish are just in the kitchen on the walls but even like the kids rooms i had some issues with just kind of decorating them and making them sh making sure that it still had that island touch without making it too like a traditional home feeling style. So there's quite a few areas. Um, I did leave some spacing on a few of the shelves so that they, if they do find treasure um, on the island and stuff like that, they can still have an area to put that, um, put those items without having to, you know, change anything around. There is a treasure chest that comes with this pack and I did put it in the living room. I did downsize it. So I've only used it, I wanna say maybe once and, but I didn't use it downsized. So that's the one thing I didn't play test is if you're still able to use the treasure chest while it's downsized, hopefully you can. Um, if not, you can always just move it and then size it to its, you know, general, um, size in order to be able to use it but I would think if you can downsize any of the other items like I've seen people do like the one room challenge or like the the one square or I think it's like a four by four I think that's what it is and there's just like the bed is teeny teeny tiny and the refrigerator is teeny teeny tiny and the toilet is really really tiny but the sim can use all of it so I would assume that you can still use the treasure the treasure chest. I don't think any of the items are going to pop out if you happen to, um, you know, place them in there. So we are just finishing up the bedrooms downstairs. Like I said, when I decorated these, I did have two kids in mine, one male, one female. Um, but again, you can do two females, you can do two males. Um, you can do, uh, teens or children i did put a toy box in the little area down here i kind of figured that it would be mainly that the kids would use for homework and stuff so there is a toy box down here so if you do end up having to put children although in the sims that doesn't really matter because all of my adult sims always play with the toys every one of them um, and it's just so funny because they usually always gravitate towards either the kitty, the little, the little white kitten, or the robot. A lot of them really, really, really love that talking robot. So I think my 100 baby challenge, the um, second generation mom, she, uh, Nina, she was like best friends with the robot. It was the funniest thing. She had a really good relationship with her kids, but she loved that robot. So, um, but yes, there is a toy box down there and then there's the desk. That is the only area that has a desk. Um, of course they can sit up at the dining room table. There are four chairs with the dining room table. Um, it's kind of the area where I put it 
it's a little cramped because it is right in front of the door. But like I said, it is play tested. I tried all of the chairs, so everything does work. Um, but again, you can use that for studying or if you get them a laptop or anything like that, you still have plenty of space. So as far as the pack goes, um, it's very colorful. I did really enjoy using a lot of the items. Like I said, there's a lot of things that I will probably incorporate into all of my builds and I probably am going to continue to try and build in this world just so I can try different types of techniques. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of really cool builds in Sulani and it's definitely something I want to do. I really want to start stepping out of my comfort zone and trying new things that's why this one i fiddled around with that roof for so long literally probably about 45 minutes just trying to figure out what was going on with it i rebuilt the the deck up at the top where the stairs are three times just to see if maybe i was missing kind of a closing area and it was still considering part of it an open room but no, it didn't matter. No matter what I did, it's it still disappears. You may even see it in some, yeah, in some of these shots, you can't see the floor. Like it's just completely gone, but it's there. Like it's just so weird. And I thought, well, maybe my Sim can't, um, you know, walk through it. And so I had her go up the stairs and I wanted to make sure she can get around like all of the couches and stuff like that. And she could um, and then she just voluntarily walked right across the deck and or the patio and um, down the stairs so I know it works and I've had her go up and down the stairs a couple times just kind of play testing because like I said the roof is kind of clipping in the master bedroom upstairs but then also in the living room but you can barely even see it and I put a couple things upstairs in the master bedroom to kind of um, hide that and so, uh, but she can, the Sims can use everything. So here you can see that kind of roof trim sticking out there and I do end up covering it. And like I said, it, the one area I was concerned about was where the stairs are. I put one of those room dividers there and it was fine. She had no problem. So, um, that was not an issue. I think probably for the next build, that I do in this um, in this world, I really want to try and do huts um, or kind of like a, like a resort, just kind of several things spaced out. Um, Cause I think that that would be really cool. I've seen a lot of pictures over on Pinterest as well as on Google and I really liked them, so. I think that uh, we are getting ready to come to the end here. Um, I did go back in after I finished filming and I um, added, I wanna say one or two extra pieces of rug just because it was kind of in the center. It was a little small. So I wanted to, to kind of extend that. So I did go in and fix that. And I don't think I did anything else to the bell. I don't think I added anything else. This is the little seating area that I was talking about in the master bedroom. I really like how this turned out. It's really kind of cute. It's very simple. It's not anything too dramatic, but I just thought it looked really, really cozy and stuff. So, um, and I did use those pictures are from the um, hidden objects. I believe they're the pictures that you take when you deep dive. Um, in Sulani, I think I had my one of my Sims do it once when she was doing odd jobs. Um, the odd jobs I had a lot of problems with, so I stopped doing those. Um, and it was anything that had to do with Sulani. The rest of the stuff was fine, but it was any of the jobs that I wanted to have completed in Sulani. Like it wouldn't let me mail any of the treasure I found. I couldn't go into the cave and do anything, so I ju I just stopped with that one because it was getting frustrating. And I noticed over on the help forum that it, it happens to be a glitch. I don't know if they've fixed it since then because I haven't played in this world since then. Hopefully they have, but um, who knows? One thing I did notice is we did get rugs with the Island Living Pack, but they're very limited. Um, I consider them as far as being able to use them. So I wish we did have more. But as I said, 
we're getting ready to head into some screenshots here. I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. I will link everything down below in regards to the first video where you can find um, the rules and everything for this challenge. If you guys do it, definitely let me know. Let um, Misha know over at Simmer Down Misha because she would love to see it. And if you guys um, have any questions, definitely leave them down in the uh, comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you like my content, definitely subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon.